Hello and welcome to today's edition of the Danielle Daily. I'm your host, Danielle Watson. I really appreciate you guys being here. I know Monday is the day when most of us are usually beavering away at projects, trying to get things done, trying to plow through, trying to get our week off to a really good start. And it's always interesting on days like today when the best time to do the show turns out to be right after I've been at yoga class. It feels a little weird to be sitting here in my, my yoga clothes, but I keep reminding myself, we're all friends here, it's not a big deal, but it'll be interesting to see if I still have the confidence to do that once I start filming these through the Danielle Daily site instead of through my personal page. So if you haven't already gone ahead and liked and followed the Danielle Danielle Daily Facebook page. You'll want to do that now to make sure that once I switch over from doing these live broadcasts through my personal page, that you'll still receive notification that they're happening and you won't miss out. If you're watching these on YouTube after they're recorded, then there's nothing you need to do except for maybe hit the little subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It looks like everybody is hopping on today. Hello, it looks like Lisa's here, Elena's here, Stephanie, Julio. Lisa says, yay, I made it to the live show. Yay, I'm so glad you're here. Julio says, you always catch me on the Metro. That's perfect. There's nothing worse than being on the Metro. It is boring. And I don't know about you, Julio, but to me, the energy on the Metro is just not very inspiring. So I'm glad that you get to be here with all of us awesome, positive people. That's perfect. Lisa says, hi, hi, Lisa. It's so good to see you guys. I love Mondays because it's a fresh start to a whole new week. It's a new opportunity to do things in a whole new way, to get new things done, to try new things. Monday to me is super exciting. And I know that a lot of people don't feel that way about Monday. Monday is the day that, oh my gosh, I have to go back to work. I have to do things. But my attitude towards Monday is that this is a fresh start. I get to do things the way I want to do them. I get to be intentional about how I want to live, how I want to run my day. And as I was going through my morning this morning, I thought, you know, I get super excited about Mondays, but Mondays are not actually the only time that I give myself a fresh start. And so I wanted to just talk a little bit about that, give you today's note to self, and see, you know, what your guys' attitudes are about fresh starts. You know, I think a fresh start is super exciting. I know some people feel like a fresh start is super scary, a clean slate. Oh my gosh, how am I going to fill it? For me, a fresh start is super exciting. It looks like Jared is here. Thank you so much for joining us, Jared. I love seeing your face here. I think this is the first time that you've been able to join the broadcast. And I think I saw another face go across the screen, but I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna call out her name, but I think I saw a little heart or a little thumbs up go across the, the screen with, um, okay, I'll say it, with Jane's face, but I don't see her name in the comments, so I'm, I'm still kind of figuring out how this Facebook Live thing works as far as being able to tell who's watching and, and I, you know, it's just not my, it's not my wheelhouse, so I just, I just keep doing it because I know how to press go live and I know how to talk to you guys and I love to see you. So even though I don't have it all figured out, I'm doing it anyway. So tell me, how was your weekend? How do you feel about Mondays? Do you feel like they're a fresh start? Do you feel like, oh my gosh, the weekend's over Monday. I have to, I have to do my thing. As I was going through my morning this morning, I was making something to put out there about how Mondays are an opportunity for a fresh new week and yay, rah, rah, you know, the way I, the way I like to approach life. And it really got me thinking about how a fresh start is not something that I only give myself on Mondays. And so I wanted to kind of describe how I do that and see if that gets you guys thinking about things in ways that maybe you haven't thought about them before for yourselves so that you can use this technique too. Almost none of the techniques I use are something that I came up with all on my own. I probably read it somewhere, somewhere along the way, but I've sort of Danielleized them and made them my own. And so I, I like to share them with you and I hope, I hope that they will be useful and that you will personalize them so that they work for you as well. I, I don't want anyone to feel like they need to use whatever I'm sharing in the exact way that I use it. 
make it your own use it in a way that works for you to make your life feel more the way you want it to feel so yay Jane is here so I don't understand why I was able to see your face Jane and your your um, fa your thumbs ups but I wasn't able to see your your name first so anyways I'm so glad you're here Tim is watching thank you so much okay so this is our Monday crew I think maybe some more people will hop on but just in case you joined after the beginning of the pro broadcast again I'm Danielle Watson this is the Danielle Daily Show we're talking about fresh starts here I also want to repeat just one more time that if you have not already liked and followed the Danielle Daily Facebook page you'll want to do that because I am going to be shifting these broadcasts over to um, doing them through that page rather than my personal page so people who maybe want to watch the broadcast but don't want to be my friend can watch them and I was also saying you know it's interesting whenever it's one of those days where the best time for me to film this broadcast is right after yoga class it's a little uncomfortable for me because I'm I'm a little underdressed I've still got my yoga clothes on I don't have my full makeup on and and I'm curious to see if I will have the confidence to continue to do that once I'm filming these through the Danielle Daily because right now I know that we're all friends here and you guys don't really care that I, I don't necessarily you know look all done up and professional so it'll be interesting to see to see if I keep doing that okay so we are going to have today's note to self in just a little bit remember you want to write these down they're super useful you can use them today tomorrow you might find them in a drawer six months from now and it might be exactly what you need to hear so I highly encourage you to take advantage of this free resource that I'm giving you this note to self this reminder that you can use to help yourself live think and act in the way that you want to live think and act and I encourage you to make them your own a uh, couple weeks back I gave a note to self and Elena wrote it down and it was so beautiful she has beautiful handwriting and she just said it really spoke to her and she wrote it down and she took a picture of it and she posted it and she tagged me in it and it just made my entire day my entire day was made because she wrote it down so beautifully so if you ever are inspired to write these down to take a picture of them please post them please tag me in them I would love to see that that just lights up my heart I feel so excited to know that something that we shared here really spoke to you and is going to help you do things the way that you want to do them and think the way you want to think and speak the way you want to speak and basically just get a handle on yourself just take control of your own self because as we all know that's really the only place in life that any of us is ever going to be able to exercise any modicum of control so let's focus on what we can do in here before we worry about what we can do out there let's let's get our own crazy sort of under control together okay so a fresh start we all need a fresh start sometimes I know that for me Monday is a, is a weekly reminder that the opportunity for a fresh start is there but we can actually give ourselves a fresh start anytime so I notice that for me when I get up in the morning I usually get pretty much right on to my computer and I do a few things I look at email I get on Facebook I get on Instagram I get I sort of take in whatever has happened overnight and then I actually close all that down and I go and I do my meditation practice and to me that is like my first fresh start of the day so even though I took 15 or 20 minutes or if I'm really dawdling I'll drink my tea and I will spend a good half hour to 45 minutes looking through Facebook scrolling and looking through everything that people are, have posted overnight and then I, I close it all down and I give myself a fresh start and it's like taking that time to meditate 10 15 minutes allows me to just kind of shut everything down and start again so then then I start again then I get back on I, I do whatever work I need to do on my computer and then whenever I either it depends on the day I either stop for lunch or I stop to go to yoga when I come back I think of that again as another opportunity for a fresh start so I try not to let whatever happened in the morning good bad or indifferent way on me or or stay with me I try to just kind of brush it off and go okay here I am I'm approaching whatever it is I need to do in life 
from right here, right now in this present moment, I'm bringing whatever energy I have right now in my body, I'm bringing whatever mental focus I have to this moment, and I'm just focusing right here on what I'm doing. And that, it helps me tremendously to think about all these kind of transition points in my day as opportunities for a fresh start. And so a fresh start doesn't always mean that I have 100% energy and I'm able to come at it with everything I have, but I take a moment to evaluate where I am and to come at whatever tasks or things I need to do from that place of a fresh start. It looks like Lisa says, Monday is one of my favorite days of the week. Yay, I love that. So tell me, Lisa, why is Monday one of your favorite days of the week? I, you know, Like I said, I, I love Monday because it's the start to a new week. It's a fresh start. It reminds me of the fact that this is an opportunity for a fresh start. And I bet you have a wonderful and interesting reason too. So let me know. So some other opportunities for fresh starts. Basically, anytime you decide. So anytime you decide that you know you, you don't like the way things are going or you're starting something new or even if you do like the way things are going but you want to kind of just change things around, think of that as an opportunity to just let go of whatever has been happening, to just release it into the past, it's done, it's gone, and to use that moment as a time to evaluate how you want to be going forward, how you want to think going forward, how you want to act going forward. Maybe maybe you don't want to, you know, complete whatever it is that's on your to-do list and that's that's an opportunity for you to say, "You know what? I'm I'm done for today." and tomorrow is another opportunity for a fresh start. So yes, a Monday is a fresh start. A Friday in some ways feels like a fresh start because we're starting the weekend. The morning feels like a fresh start. A new day feels like a fresh start, but really you can give yourself a fresh start anytime you decide. And really all it takes is pausing for a moment to say, hey, you know what? I'm letting go of whatever it was that I was doing, good, bad, or indifferent, and I'm starting from right where I am, and I'm moving in this direction. All it really takes is some presence of mind, some time to pause, to evaluate, and to choose how you're going to proceed. So what do you think about that? Do you feel like giving yourself permission to have a fresh start at any time is something that will be easy? Is it something that will be challenging? You know, I know that a lot of us who watch the Danielle Daily Show are huge overachievers and we want to get as much done as possible. And I think that this idea of giving ourselves a fresh start over and over, maybe even every time we start a new task, is a great way to keep us energized, to be able to do all that we want to do and to be able to accomplish all that we want to accomplish. It looks like Mark is watching, thank you so much, and I think you just sent me a little heart and I appreciate that, thank you. So talk to me about this idea of fresh start. Is that something that you feel like, yes, I need more fresh starts in my day, or are you just kind of like, okay, yeah, we've heard this before, Danielle, thanks a lot. Um, let me let me know. I, in just a moment, I'm going to give you today's note to self. I've been trying to keep these broadcasts a little bit shorter so that it doesn't feel like another task on your to-do list to actually watch them. I, I want you to be able to enjoy them, to take them in. Uh, you can even play them through your through your phone. You don't have to watch the, the video. You can just play the audio while you're driving to and from work or a soccer game or the grocery store or the gym or wherever it is you need to go. So I'm trying to, to be a little more succinct so that you guys can get these in during times when you have a little bit of free time and you don't have to mark out you know, half an hour on your calendar to watch them. Lisa says, I do that. Some days I have to give myself a fresh start every 10 minutes. Yes, you are so wise, Lisa. Lisa runs a very, very busy business. She is fantastic. Her crew has cleaned my house so many times and that woman, she can, manage tasks. And I think one of the ways she does that is by starting fresh over and over and over again. She is so busy and she's one of those people that when I watch all that she has to do and that she does it with a smile and that she does it with love and that she still loves those of us who are her clients and customers, I, I know that she has got some tricks up her sleeve for how she does that because her schedule is mighty, mighty intense. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm about to give today's note to self. Please feel free to continue to type things into the comments. Even after the show is over, if you're watching this as a recording, I read all the comments, I respond to them. Sometimes I private message people if my response is something that I'm not sure that everybody needs to be reading. But please feel free to comment now or to comment later. I love it when you guys share the show. I appreciate it so much when you decide that there was something here that somebody you love needs to needs to hear about or, or needs to be exposed to. It, it really is something special when I receive a comment or a private message from somebody who you guys referred. Basically, that's what you're doing when you're hitting the share button. You're saying, I love and trust this person and I think this person has something Something to say that somebody I care about would find valuable and just thank you I really really appreciate that okay today's note to self here it is you ready to write it down dear self you can give yourself a fresh start anytime just because you decide so maybe it's Monday morning maybe it's after lunch maybe it's when you've completed a task maybe it's after a workout whatever it is give yourself some kind of marker in your day that reminds you to just sort of clear the decks, to clear off whatever it is that you've been up to, and to give yourself a fresh start because there's something about that fresh start energy, right? Even if we've been going half the day, if we just give ourselves that mental attitude adjustment that, hey, this is a fresh start, there's something about that energy of a fresh start that helps us to do things with more ease, the better attitude. Attitude, helps us to accomplish what it is we want to accomplish in a more effective manner and I just think I think that's worth doing I think it's worth taking a few moments to just kind of reset our mind and move into that place of this is something new and I'm going to approach it as something new rather than part of a long continuum of things that I'm doing that are slowly wearing out my energy as I get through the through to the end of the day. So think about that, use it. Let me read you the note to self one more time. Please write it down. As always, I love it when you guys join me here. I appreciate you so much. And I love it when you guys write these down. Elena did this a couple weeks ago and in your own beautiful handwriting because my handwriting is complete chicken scratch <laughs> and that you take a picture of that and you post it on your page and tag me. That, that just, it makes me so happy. So here is that note to self one more time. It says, dear self, you can give yourself a fresh start anytime just because you decide just because you know that you need it just because you want to just because you know that that is the best way for for you to operate it says julio said uh, julio says i love a blank page me too right i find a blank page so exciting because i know something is going to flow through me that it's going to fill that up in a really exciting way and i know that for some people a blank page the idea of that can be very intimidating but change if you if you do find it intimidating you know change that around it's not necessarily pressure to fill up the page it, approach it as an exciting opportunity for something amazing to flow through you and to and to fill up that page or to fill up that time or to fill up that space just change it around in your mind a little bit and if you need help with that you know how to reach me it looks like Lisa says I love this note to self as a perfectionist a fresh start allows me to relieve anxiety oh my gosh what a good point Maybe that's what I need to do the show on tomorrow because I know that as an overachiever, I suffer with anxiety all the time. Do you, is that something that you guys suffer with too? I, I feel like I need to know. If you, if you feel like anxiety, and I don't mean necessarily clinical anxiety, I mean just like the feeling of anxiousness and pressure and needing to get things done. And um, if that is something that speaks to you, I would love to address that. In a, in a future show, maybe even tomorrow. All right, so like I said, I'm trying to keep these a little bit more brief. Lisa says that would be a great topic, awesome. Okay, anxiety is coming, if not tomorrow, later this week. See, as I've said so many times before, what you guys contribute to the show, either through your comments now or through private messages later, is so much more valuable than anything I have to say. You guys are really what makes this show worth watching and worth sharing. So I, I appreciate you so much. What You make this show possible. You make this show fun. You make this show something that I really hope is going to make a difference for people and that they look forward to watching and 
thank you. I, I cannot thank you enough. Lisa says, thank you. I can't wait. Yay. Awesome. All right. I will see you guys back here again tomorrow. Again, I am Danielle Watson. This has been the Danielle Daily. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Mwah. Bye.